the role of the writer uh, can be a negotiator uh, and a diplomat, really, in, all, in order to look after the, uh, the process of uh, development, the making of the uh, screenplay and turning that into a film. Um, and as well as writing it, a writer nowadays has to be a, a negotiator and a diplomat. And um, Simon uh, here has been telling us a bit about that uh, in the session just now, and hopefully he's going to tell us a bit more about it now, Simon. Well, I think, I guess what I've learned over the years is that one has to keep the momentum of a project moving. And to do that, one has to turn oneself into kind of a United Nations negotiator um, and to gather all the differing forces in a room. And in, instead of seeing that as a threatening process, which I did for many years, is to try and negotiate a way through. Instead of saying, no, I can't do that, is to try and configure everyone's ideas in such a way that you can move forward, adopt and accept their ideas, but keep the core of your work, the, the soul of it. This is because you're the, you're the guardian of the, of the screenplay, and so ultimately you have to decide what go, goes in and what doesn't. It's not quite as simple as that, because actually, if you want a film made, the people with the money are the end point of deciding what goes in and what doesn't go in. You can influence them. I think it's the writer's job to influence their opinions about what should end up in that film. Um, and that's a very subtle art, I think. Mm. And one, as a screenwriter, one needs to be versed in that particular art as much as one does in the techniques of writing. Yes, it's a very curious question here about the language uh, that you use as to what a, a screenwriter is in terms of the screenplay. We were talking about this earlier. A writer is at one level trying to protect their screenplay, but protecting sounds as though somebody else is going to tear it away from you or damage it. Um, and uh, you, Tom, just now used the word guardian, which is also a form of loaded uh, word. Uh, but there's nurturing, there's protection. It's very difficult to find quite the right word yeah. for what a writer has to do to look after the project, but in a collaborative way. Yeah, I think one has to absorb a lot of opinions. And those opinions are incredibly valid. If someone walks into the room with five million dollars, they have an absolute right to have a say over your script. And it's become our mm. script then. Mm. And one has to accept that if you want that money. But at the same time, you have to nurture the project that you've had for years probably mm. and take on board those new ideas and somehow sort of squeeze, manipulate, extrude other people's ideas into the body of your work in a way that doesn't ruin it and, and, and you have to absorb those things I think or you say no and you bring the whole process to a standstill and that I've learned over the years is the worst place to be to be in the no, I can't do that place because all the momentum is lost, the inertia builds up, all the all the walls go up at that point, uh, and that that's the sign of a project about to collapse. It's an amazingly collaborative medium, and ultimately the writer has to be able to do that collaboration and actually keep the 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 motion of the project up as well, keep yeah. it moving, keep everybody moving in the same uh, direction. Yeah. It's um, very important. Amazingly complex. Peter, Simon, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Good night.